Howdy, 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 Aries. My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for August, of course, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below, Aries, how this reading helps you out. All right. I love keeping up with you guys as well. If you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy this vibe, you enjoy this setup, Aries. All right. To give this video a like and subscribe. I really appreciate those who take the extra step to do that because I know you don't have to because it really helps me out a lot. And, uh, and it's a free way to support me, darling. All right. So today, Aries, we're going to get into three rows for you. Your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind right now all right your second row we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today aries all right what insight you need to hear what guidance what spiritual message for some of you guys i have like a sneaking suspicion uh someone's spiritual guide is going to be coming forward here to channel a message just as i'm pulling these cards here and then in your third row Aries, we're going to be talking about some predictions for you. We're going to be making some predictions. The future is never solid, Aries, but if you continue down the same path that you're going, I can make a pretty solid um, assumption about what's going to happen to you and for you, darling. But to start out this energy here, Aries, you have this justice card coming in here, that Libra energy, all right? Justice being served, karma getting back, all right? I'm even just noticing before, like, as I'm looking at these cards here, especially for the person that's on your mind right now, I'm noticing that devil here, Aries, all right? So definitely justice is on the menu this week here all right i feel like this sense of where the the scales are going to be coming into balance here whoever has done you wrong especially because i see the sense of doing you wrong here with that three of swords and your predictions there like i see for you aries with this justice energy from a objective standpoint here this is a situation of where you've been putting in the work really a lot of hard work into a situation here and i feel like the scales are going to start balancing out here you may be noticing this week aries about a little bit of a quicker progression on things here i don't feel like the scales of uh justice are going to come into complete balance this week for you but you're going to start noticing the signs that's the important part here is you're going to start noticing the signs aries of justice starting to finally happen w with whatever happened here whatever the situation the truth coming out here someone i even hear like the law obviously with that justice card maybe you end up calling the cops i don't know really specific though so this justice energy aries is going to be influencing all three rows oh girl i just messed everything up all three of these rows all right so just keep that in mind as we talk about your first row the person that is on your mind right now all right you have the devil the queen of needles and then the two of presents all right so for you right now, Aries, the person that is on your mind right now, you don't mess with them, honey. All right. You don't want to mess with them here, but for some reason, they're staying relevant in your life here. I'm noticing it's like that devil on your shoulder that you can't quite get rid of. It's that itch on your back that you can't quite scratch here. All right. Um, this i wouldn't be surprised aries if this is like a energy some i heard the word narcissist so maybe some of you guys uh, associate this person as a narcissist i personally am not going to say someone's a narcissist because i don't feel like narcissists are inherently bad people a narcissist is a mental disorder <laughs> or a mental condition but um this is definitely someone that's really controlling i will say that someone that's really controlling someone that is i see just trying to add stress trying to add drama to your life here because i see with this two of pentacles their main objective here aries is to try to overwhelm you here all right and i feel like you've been pretty good at defending yourself here queen of c uh queen of seedles queen of swords queen of needles here aries like i feel like it's almost like this sense areas where it's like they poke the bear just enough, but not enough to get a full reaction out of you, Aries. All right. I get like this sense of where it's like someone's like disrespecting you or like this person just like, yeah, I keep on being shown now. It's just like a toddler that's saying like, um, mom, 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 right? That incessant uh, poking here. And I get here, Aries, of where that's where the justice is going to be happening with this person here. It's like this person continues trying to to be the devil aries justice is definitely going to be getting served to them like without question justice is going to be happening here so let's start clarifying this here what's going to be happening with the situation what even happened between the two of y'all all right let's take a look here nine of swords here a lot of anxiety a lot of stuff going on in the head here aries if this is someone that you have like if you want to i will just say i'm just simply messenger darling so don't come after me i do feel as if the person that you're thinking of right now 
has like a lot of anxiety like i wouldn't be surprised if they're the way that they're acting right now is based off of like their own narrative that they've created in their head so if you're able to talk to them aries i feel like that would benefit give some good benefit there because the moon energy here as well that's the pr problem with this situation with you and this person here it's just like everything's going unspoken everyone's just making assumptions everyone's just in their head everyone's just anxious and so from that they just act accordingly from that here and then you have the hierophant okay so aries at the end of the day do i see that this person cares about you i mean on some level they have to care about you you're living in their mind rent free let's be honest here for them to still consistently be that devil and poking the bear essentially here but I feel like, honestly, for some of you guys, and I know it's not going to be a situation that you can really have with everybody, but I feel like a conversation could really bring some clarity here, uh, Aries. All right, that's what would make the justice, the truth really coming out here, because that's really what that justice represents is the truth here right there's always like that storyline or that quote where it's just like there's three truths there's your truth their truth and the actual truth right and i feel like for you aries you have your side of the truth you have your perspective they have their perspective you are handling yourself a lot more maturely than this other person here and i don't know i get like this sense with them where it's like if they keep at it with what it is that they're doing here um they're gonna have a rude wake-up call that's what I get with that. I don't know where that's coming from, Aries, but I feel like they're going to get like a rude wake up call. So let's get into now what you need to hear, Aries. All right. You have the Knight of Candles, Ace of Needles, as well as the Lovers card coming in for you. All right. <sighs> what you need to hear right now, Aries, is that for you currently, you have some pretty solid connections coming forward to you. All right. I want you to be prepared about new energy coming forward to you that's going to be trying to bring you out of your shell to help remind you of like a younger you. I don't know where, where, where that's coming from. But the reason why I say this is because of this Knight of Candles, Knight of Wands, as well as this Lover's Energy. When you have that court card paired with the Lover's Energy, you can't really help but actually acknowledge the social aspect to this Aries, where it's just like this Knight of Candles, this Knight of Wands comes in. Um, I feel like, again, I keep on hearing like bringing, reminding you of your spark. All right. Reminding you of your spark, uh, motivating you here again with that Ace of Swords as well. It's like the sense of where I feel like you're going to be getting your path in alignment with people that really inspire you, people that inspire you, people that motivate you to do better, to grow uh, areas is what I'm hearing. I even get like this sense as this night of candles, if we're going to make this more so introspective here. All right. I feel like the important decision, because the lovers can represent important decisions, complex decisions. I feel like the best decision for you right now, Aries, is to not be stale. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Right. What I mean by not being stale right now, Aries, I feel like it's really important for you to be more creative. All right. I feel like it's important for you to stop doing what you think will be successful and get into alignment with what you personally feel inspired by all right because i do get like this sense areas where it's like i hear routine so it's like you might have just like a routine of things and it's just like all that you know that will get you some results but i even would even say i would i even even would say hello i would even say areas like what it is that you're doing i don't feel like it's giving you that spark that you want I don't feel that. I, I feel as if for you, you're craving something new, but at the same time, you don't want to dabble into anything new because you're just like, well, what if it's not successful? What if it's not good? What if it's not received well? Darling, that doesn't matter. That's you, because the moment you're starting to ask those questions, Aries, where it's just like, oh, what if other people don't receive it? Girl, that doesn't matter, Aries, okay? This is your art. When I do these tarot readings, Aries, I don't do these tarot readings. I'm just like, oh, what if someone doesn't resonate? Girl, I don't care. I'm gonna still do it, even if Billy Bob Joe over on <laughs> typing on YouTube is pissed off because I say darling, and they wanted to say, it's just like, oh, there's more than just girls that watch you. Girl, I don't care. It's not about you. I do this because I want to. I do this because it is inspires me i do this because it's a passion of mine aries and i'm just lucky that what it is that i do supports me and people receive it well and so that's what needs to happen for you aries is you need to accept the fact that you need to stop following the rules you need to stop being in the mold following the mold of other people following what other people's success story is like thinking that you're going to be able to replicate those results because you're not going to be able to replicate those results for one and for two you have so much more potential here. I feel like for you, Aries, what you're really lacking 
is that inspiration? Is that passion for you, Aries? All right. I really get this sense of just needing to experiment, needing to just get out of your comfort zone with whatever it is that you're doing. And that's where the um, growth will happen. That's when you'll see the, pro the progression in your life, Aries. All right. I don't know why I'm feeling so passionate about this right now, Aries, but truly, 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 there's like this sense of breaking the pattern, breaking the pattern, breaking a generational curse, breaking, it's just like breaking something, breaking routine, like, I don't know. All right, reconciliations, wailing tree coming in here. Number 59, equaling to five in numerology, Aries. So write down the number five to see how that resonates with you. Um, when you look it up in numerology see what messages that brings but the uh, reconciliation i don't remember if i said this for you aries but um when i was doing your pre-shuffle i had noticed that there's like this sense of no i think i even did say it to you it's like making friends with your enemy um reconciliation here all right i feel like for some of you aries there might be like a pride thing there like there might be i just feel like there's someone that you're not communicating with due to pride due to you having your own narrative and they have their own narrative they have their truth you have your truth there aries all right i really do feel that some of you aries like whatever that you could make this situation you could make this devil aries a friend again or just someone at least something that could benefit you right because again i can't really speak on the dynamic of what happened between the two of you guys because that's your business all right it's not my business to be delving into areas all right so i'm not gonna that's y'all's drama all right i don't i'm not a drama reader <laughs> all right i'm very much so reflective here but i will say here aries is that spirit keeps on like pushing this narrative here of where it's just like reconnecting communicating here again there's like this sense of where i feel like if you guys were to just come to an understanding about perspectives then things would pan out like that devil would no longer be relevant all right and then you can continue moving forward right maybe that's sort of the problem for some of you aries is that you feel like you can't really move forward with any new passion or anything like that because of just your other issues all right so again this is not gonna be for everybody darling obviously aries i don't need to hear it's just like oh this person was abusive to me valka like i don't want like girl then don't all right <laughs> obviously let you know let's use some critical thinking here this is not going to be talking about someone that was abusive or putting your life in danger or anything like this this is very much so a dynamic of like a misunderstanding with a friend or a family i don't need to hear <laughs> about the trauma darling we all have those traumas we all have those people that we don't want to talk to again and rightfully so all right and at the end of the day i'm just a tear reader honey all right like my life doesn't change whatsoever if you choose to talk to them or not all right and then close encounters aries we have to acknowledge this darling okay i know i'm gonna piss off so many aries with this because they're just not gonna be in the mood to hear this um right now but i feel like at a later point in time you may remember this you may not aries but i really do feel like someone that you're not speaking to right now you're gonna be having some communication with them whether it's continuing on that connection or whether that's just giving you some closure so this devil is no longer relevant in your life Aries so you can freely live your life again so you can freely start uh fanning that flame of yours because this is literally your energy oh girl this is literally your energy here Aries where like you are that knight of wands you are the fire all right and so I feel like for many of you guys it's like the stress that you're under makes it really hard for you to do anything new all right get out of your head Aries that's something I want to just randomly say as well is to just get out of your head sadly and get out of your head all right so aries let's now get into your predictions here don't mind me darling i'm writing down a timestamp <laughs> for later uh for this here let's get into your predictions now aries all right you have the three of swords here you have the hermit energy as well as what is this one is this the emperor is this the emperor yeah this is the emperor so you have the emperor the three of swords as well as the hermit here <clears throat> all right aries i see what's happening for you here you're starting to come out of your hermit shell all right i feel like something happened to you aries with that disappointment with that pain there something caused for you to just go in your shell something caused for you to you know that flame of yours that we were talking about to fade a little bit for you all right i see with this emperor energy 
There's never going to be a time of where you're going to feel fully comfortable. You just need to do it, Aries, all right? You just need to do it. You're, you, there's, the only way that you're really going to be able to work through this pain is not by just holding up and staying in bed until three o'clock, all right? It's not through watching tarot readings while you're in bed and not doing your responsibilities, Aries. It's through you just finally like deciding to just get up, take action, Aries, and be like, you know what? I am Aries, hear me roar. I don't know what happened to you in the past, Aries, that caused for this major bump on the road for you where you haven't been there's like this sense of shame Aries and like putting yourself out there more some of you Aries you need to stop reading gossip I don't know again I'm like randomly I keep on getting like these random channel the messages here some of you need to stop reading gossip because I feel like the gossip is what's getting in your head here all right it's almost as if like you read gossip Aries and then you try to go back to work but that gossip stays in your head and you're just like oh god like what have you know some of you guys need to if especially if you're reading that gossip you need to just block those people you need to stop being around stop being in environments that's going to trigger you Aries because I feel like it's through you constantly having like uh, a wound being like freshened up like putting salt on a wound and constantly reopening that wound there you're always going to be stuck in this rut here all right Aries you are the emperor the emperor like just, there's not anything that's going to happen for you to just randomly wake up one day and you'd be like oh my gosh i'm the emperor i'm fabulous darling no it's little. it's a mindset thing you have to just at some point make the decision aries that you're just like i am aries hear me roar take it or leave it darling if you don't like it get the heck out all right you're irrelevant all right that's what I really like. I, I'm sorry, but not sorry, Aries. But I feel like I just need to be very like brutally honest with some of you guys. Y'all need to have that tough love. All right. There's five million other tarot readers, Aries, that you can go to. All right. That's gonna just be like, I'm proud of you, even if I don't know you, honey. Da 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 da. da girl, you know, there's plenty of fluffy readers, darling. I will be that one reader that's gonna be like, hey, snap out of it, darling. Snap out of it. All right. And trust and believe, Aries. I understand when you're going through the pain, darling. This is what like this is partially my own story here, honestly. In a way, I got out of this. You know, I got I escaped a cult last year, Aries, and then I still posted on YouTube. I still put myself out there, even when I was feeling like crap, darling. And I'm just now finally healing from it. But it's just like, you know, you have to fake it until you make it. All right. Aries, there's never going to be an opportune time. You ha you create that time. All right. Push through any insecurity, Aries. First quarter moon in cancer. <laughs> I mean, do we need to even talk about this, Aries? All right. I'm not going to talk about it because I'll just start yelling at y'all some more, Aries. I feel like y'all, <laughs> you can <laughs> lower your shoulders, Aries. I ain't going to go off on you anymore. You get the point. We're all adults here, presumably, Aries. All right. Work through your insecurities. You're always going, you're, you, you are the emperor. You just got to remind yourself. Nothing's going to remind you besides you. All right. So I love you so much, Aries. Hopefully this tarot reading gave you some guidance. Give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free. If you want to book a reading with me, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. All of them just being simplyvelka. And I'll connect with you at a later point in time, Aries. Bye, darling.